Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time for another Upcycled Fashions video. I'm always excited about these videos and then on the other hand I'm also like pretty scared to death about it because I never really know what I'm doing. I think I can handle what I'm about to attempt today. I try to keep it simple, but sometimes it gets complicated without me even expecting it. I do want to mention that first some of you sent me packages. I do have those. I haven't been up to doing a peanut gallery mail video. And I will be doing it soon. And I'm going to say that for now, I have a lot of clothes. I even have some that is still boxed that hasn't even had names put on it yet because I like to keep track of who sent what. So I'm going to say that for now, if you haven't sent anything and it's not on the way, hang on. And if I need clothing down the road, we can start this up again. But I really do want to try to use up everything that people sent me, unless I come across something that I just really can't figure out what to do with it, then that will get donated to probably my favorite thrift store, which is Another Chance in North Berwick. All proceeds benefit homeless animals. But I'm not giving anything to thrift stores yet because I really need time to just go through everything that I have. But for now, hold off on sending more things. Thank you to everyone who has sent something. I know that you're probably thinking she's never going to use my item. I got a lot of stuff, so it's just going to take time for me to get through it all. Today's items come from, let me see, I should have a tag here somewhere. What's MS? Is that Mississippi? I should know that. It's where Skylar lives. Skylar goes back and forth between her mom in Mississippi and her dad in Tennessee. They're just right across the border. MS is Mississippi. It's got to be. So this is from Margaret and it's a dress like this and what I love is the print and especially this like maroon color or burgundy and it does have a ruffle. I'm thinking the ruffle might come off depending on the length of the dress that I end up using it for. And I think the um, ruffle off will make it more, I don't know, just give it a more clean look. Not like granny skirt. <laughs> the reason I'm using this is because I'm going to be cutting off the top, which I will save, but I just think that you know, I'm going to show like if you have something, you know, not everybody would wear this or could wear this. I'm going to just show what you can do with the bottom of a dress. We're going to be attaching it to this tank top from Georgiana in Texas. Looky, looky, that maroon stripe matches perfectly. So I'm just going to combine these two items to make a summery dress. This is like a knit, but it's not like sweater knit. It's like polyester knit, sleeveless. We're just gonna go for it and see what we can do. That's all I know at this point. So let's just head on over to the sewing machine area and get started. Before I forget, I do want to thank Margaret and Georgiana because I don't think I said thank you. I mentioned their names, but thank you very much for the clothing you sent. And I believe I have used clothing from probably both of you before because the names and states sound familiar. And if others have noticed that too, I'm not picking favorites. I'm just picking clothing that I feel like working with. And once again, if you sent something and you haven't seen me use it, that doesn't mean that I won't. It just means means that it might take a long time. I try to do these once a week. I don't always get one a week, so it's going to take a little bit. My concern is that this bottom is probably going to be a little too wide to put this skirt onto it. This is going to be very similar to me uh, making the t-shirt dresses. Only with the t-shirt dresses I take a t-shirt and I add fabric. This time I'm actually just going to be adding a skirt that's, you know, already made, except I'm going to be cutting it off this dress. This is a very easy project that most anyone can do. Even if you don't know how to sew, you could always do some sloppy hand stitching if you wanted, or you could buy some fabric glue and just glue fabric or a skirt or the bottom of a dress to the inside hem of any top and you have a dress. So let's just see here. First, let's move this and let's see what we have. Hmm. There's a 
an elastic there, I'm going to cut as close to this little, you know, I'm going to call it like bra top as I can. But I am going to keep this because we never know what I might do with that at another time. Now I'm actually looking at the back here. There's a stretchy part and I'm looking at that as the front of a shirt at the collar area. Ah, we'll see. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of fabric under that elastic. Is there a lining here? I do think there is. I'm just going to cut all the way around. Gee, I could have left the lining, well, too late now, I could have left the lining with the bra top. Yeah, had I checked, I would have probably left the lining on that because I don't think this is too sheer. Well, it is a little sheer. So we're just going to leave the lining with the uh, skirt. Now let's see. This might work out. It might, it might. Well, look at that. Can you friggin' believe it? That's like perfect. So I'm just going to leave it at that size. It's kind of big. It's big for my mannequin. But hey, not everybody's a twig out there. So this might come in handy for someone at some point. Okay, let me stop and think for a second. The first thing I want to do is get this skirt attached to the shirt. I probably could decide if there's other things I want to do first and not have to deal with the whole garment, but I just want to go ahead and get that done. I have this much friggin' maroon thread and that's it. So I'm hoping it's enough to do the top stitching that I need to do. I like to just put the skirt underneath the shirt and top stitch. I like it when it looks like it's almost like a two-piece and that there's just a shirt over the skirt as opposed to putting right sides together and then flipping, you always get that bump, even though I could top stitch it down. This is the way I like to do it. So I'm going to go over to the machine. If I remember right, I have to like put my hands up the skirt and there's like a way that I have to do this and I never remember, but I will remember when I get there. So I think I figured it out. Very hard to explain. The shirt is here with the right side facing up the skirt, I turned it inside out, then I stick my hand through it and kind of like flip it over this shirt and I put it all under the uh, needle so I can go completely around without it um, having to be stopped and cut and repositioned. You're not doing this anyway. So. <laughs> I do have a better tutorial on this. I don't know which one, but it's one of my t-shirt dress tutorials. And now I'm just going to put this on top of this. I'm actually starting at the side seam. The skirt has a side seam and so does the top, so pretty good. I'm going to not even do, should I do a zigzag? I'm going to do a small zigzag. Trying to save on thread. Let's see. Make sure that that looks good on both sides. I can't tell yet. Looking good. You know what? I don't have it positioned right. I will have to stop and reposition. It's okay. We can still do it. I'm going to stop there. Pull it out. And I just had to flip it over and now I can start back up again. I ran out of bobbin thread. That I can handle. I don't care what color I use for that. I was using black because that's what I had in there. Now I'm using white. And I need to back up now as I sewed for probably 12 inches with no thread. Because I like to do stuff like that. You get under there. You go over there. Let's get over here. I'm keeping an eye on if it's going to match up. I'm trying to not let the top stretch too much because I don't want the top to be, you know, extra fabric. Can I do this? Can I? Can I? I think so. Looking pretty freaking good. So I want to make sure I'm not catching any other fabric underneath here. Like right there. Oh, I'm gonna have a pucker. I don't care. I can live. 
can't I? Jeez, I hate that. I was doing so good. Let's see if I can smooth that out as much as possible. Ugh. Well, I have a pucker. I'm just glad it came within like a quarter to a half an inch of it working out. Because I could have had a lot of puckers. Yeah, so there's my messiness right there. We got Pucker City going on. I don't care. So far, I really like this. I do think I'm going to go ahead and take the ruffle off. I think I will like it better with the ruffle off. That means we're also going to have to cut some of the um, lining, but that's okay. What do I want to do first? I'm going to go ahead and cut the ruffle off first because then the lining, I'll know how much of it I have to cut out. And I'm going to cut, geez, if I wanted to cut right under that finished edge, I wouldn't even have to finish it. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I want to cut um, the top of the ruffle so that it can unruffle. You know what I mean? It can be stretched out to whatever it wants to be stretched out to. So I'm just going to start there. Then I'll just fold over and um, once and stitch to make a new hem. have this, which of course I am keeping. Now I have to figure out how much of the lining I need to cut. It certainly doesn't have to go right down to the bottom of the skirt, so let's say if I cut up here, I'm just going to make a little mark. I'm going to cut way up here, straighten that out the best that I can. Not going to be fussy, like that. I will hem this, and I will hem the skirt. It just needs to be turned once, because it's already stitched, and that'll be good. I can use like some kind of aqua thread if I have it. First, I'm just going to stitch the bottom of the skirt. I could have cut that off, because it makes it pretty thick, but I'm just going to leave it on. Straight stitch. <laughs> I screwed up. I didn't have aqua thread, but I had dark green, and I said, oh, that'll work, but my dark green, I have it as the top. That's going to be dark green here. I have white on the bottom, so it's showing white. On the right side, that is not the way to do this, Starlene. I have to spin a bobbin with green, so I'll be right back. We start again. I have green thread top and bottom now. We're good to go. And this is what the right side of the hem looks like. Now, as for the lining, I don't even know if I'm going to bother to fold that over at all or just do um, a zigzag stitch along the edge so it doesn't all unravel. Let's try a zigzag and see. If I had my serger running, I would use that, but I don't have it running. Yeah, I'm just going to do a zigzag all around. And you're looking at the right side of it, and I just tried to make the zigzag, you know, go over the edge so it would just catch it all, and that's just going to keep it from, um, fraying. And we are done. I put it on the mannequin because I wanted to see if there was something I could do with the ruffle. First I thought of doing some little cap sleeves with the ruffle, did not like that. Tried it as a belt, no go. A collar, absolutely not. I was trying to make this look not granny. I certainly didn't want like Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> I absolutely love it with no ruffle on the bottom of that skirt. Then I even tried it as a headpiece and that was pretty cool but, but right now I decided we're just saving the ruffle for future use. So I really like the way this turned out. The top is a little bit big for my mannequin but it's so fun to just put the bottom of a dress or a skirt that you have, sew it to the bottom of a shirt and you have a dress. And you might say, well, if you have a skirt and a shirt, why not just wear it as a skirt and a shirt? 
Sometimes you just want to be comfy with no elastic around the waist. And that's what that accomplishes for you. That's what it looks like from the back. As much as I can show you, we had a mannequin accident when I moved her. One of her legs fell off. Not good. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again, Margaret and Georgiana, for the clothing. You can see my other little mannequin still wearing that outfit because they stay in the clothes until I make something else. So we'll try to make something else for her next time. And I just think this is so pretty. Oh, and I didn't even notice. Look how the, the pattern ended up right there in the front. Didn't even notice that. Sometimes good things just happen. I love it. Just absolutely love it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future upcycled fashions. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.